So I posted some pictures of Alexa Chung recently on my Facebook page and I'd obviously done her makeup and lots of people said, could I recreate the look? And somebody actually said, could you recreate the look but on Alexa? So I thought that's actually not a bad idea. So I asked her and she said yes. So we've got Alexa here today and we're going to do the signature Alexa Chung makeup look. She's also going to do some of the makeup herself because she's actually really good at applying makeup. So it's an easy one for me today and everyone welcome Alexa Chung. So we're going to start by using Vita Lumiere by Chanel and shade number 30 because you've got a little bit of a tan. It's, it's actually my first tan ever. But... Really? It looks good on you. I'm not, I've been quite good with my skin over the years, but now I'm 30. I was like, that's it. Well, you just, my tan no, time is here. Gonna... <laughs> but you did use a SPF of some description? Or not? Yeah, Sisley. Okay. Had a really good yeah, face one. Really good one. Beautiful. Well, I think it looks great on you. But this smells good. This is my favourite guy. I love the smell of it. And I think it's just so nice and dewy and natural mm -hmm. looking. And the kind of look we're going to do today, do you want to talk us through it? So I don't really switch up my beauty look massively. I mean, if I'm on a photo shoot and we're trying to play with the clothes, then I might stray. But generally yeah. speaking, I love to rip off Jane Birkin and oh, Francoise Hardy. That's kind amazing. of my number ones. I just thought that 60s makeup was just so flattering. So beautiful. For a face. And particularly those two. Well, because it's kind of undone, but it's also really feminine. So it mm. doesn't look like you've made a huge effort. But equally, it flatters the right kind of parts, no? Absolutely, yeah. Just the big eyes as well, I mm -hmm. love. And then I'm struggling with my eyebrows. I really want them to be stronger. What, thicker? Yeah. I spent Did you... all of my school years plucking them to oblivion. Yeah. You know, in the 90s when it was mm -hmm. cool to have, like, yeah, that kind, kind of, of a Greta Garbo grungy 30s. 30s thing. Yeah. And now I feel like they're suffering from having been overplucked. So I'm trying to grow them out so they might look overly... Hairy. Have you got any um, serum to help that along? No. Some of those growth serums are really, really good for brows. Really? I'm going to hook you up with Maybe it. I could put some on my chin and get a beard as well. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a nice look. <laughs> so for concealer, I'm going to use the Secret Camouflage by Laura Mercier, which That's I my, love. Yeah, I use that. I have it in my bag always. It's so handy, isn't it? <clears throat> and when you're using it under your eyes, you can mix it either with a little bit of moisturiser or a little bit of your base, just because sometimes it gets a little bit dry. It can be quite cakey, no? It can be, yeah. So just to shear it out, mix it with um, something a bit more fluid. I literally only ever have about four things in my handbag, and it's that, a Stila blusher, my Ico liner, and a mascara, that's it. That's great. What have you got on your lips, your lip balm? Well, have you seen the state of them? <laughs> They're not that bad. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> I know what you're going in for, you're going to cover my spot. I was going to cover your <gasps> teeny tiny, no, it's, minuscule. Well, it's actually a scar now. It's forever. a scar, yeah. I get a spot once a year, and when it hits, it's it's literally a mammoth. It's a monster. Is it it's one of those that you can't squeeze, and they just get I into kind a of, hard lump? Well, I feel like I know what it's like if I had a pair of boobs now, because people can't stop like their eye just keeps looking down at it, like that. <laughs> and it's always in the same areas. It's either there, or there's always a really attractive one right in the middle of my eyebrows. Oh, that's a good look. It's hot. Yeah, nice. But anyway, I didn't know what to do, so I squeezed it and it scarred, so beware. Yeah. What am Don't I meant to squeeze. do? Well, it's difficult because you do. everyone wants to squeeze them. If you can leave it, great, and just cover it over, which will bring it to a head. But my then... friend but my friend Daisy had to come around and help me do it because I was like, I don't know what to well, do. Well, it was what to, it was that big. It needed it was disgusting. four I was hands having to dinner. squeeze it. Yeah, I was having dinner with friends and they were like, Babe, you have to sort that out. It's just, it's like putting me off my meal. And I was like, what? I don't know what I'm meant to do. Nice and then they're like, honest you friends. go like this, you don't touch it with your fingers. Yeah, you, you have a pull tissue. It and you, yeah. I don't know. You had a proper spot squeezing tutorial. Yeah, but then it was bleeding. Mm. I think they were trying to ruin my face. Yeah. So on to the important, the most important area for your 60s Jane Birkin look, and that's eyes. And we're going to use the Me and My Shadow yeah. waterproof shadow liner. Yeah, we Which? made that from just my desire to have something you can travel with that's easy to apply. I'm really slapdash about makeup, so I need like maximum effect with minimum input. Mm -hmm. And you'll see it's just really easy to put on. Um, I smudge it with my fingers because I don't mind getting stuck in, but there is a brush at the other I end. I like this little brush here. It's, it's good because really it good. doesn't um, crease in the, I don't know what that bit's called. The socket, socket yeah. yeah. And so good that it's all together mm -hmm. 
in one stick and quick. We like quick. Quick and waterproof, it's all about that. Yeah, because I cry a lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't want you crying. Don't cry today. Uh. <laughs> so next I'm going to use the chocolate pencil. Mm -hmm. And I thought I'd do a bit of a socket definition thing with this. Very true to the 60s vibe. Huh? Mm -hmm. Also, I feel like I've got quite... I don't really have deep sockets. Yeah. It's all quite... So you want to get a bit of depth in there. Yeah. I'm going to do the, put that on quite strong and blend it out now with the brush. Do you wear this makeup? I do. I like lots of mascara and big eyes. That's my thing as well. Not quite as 60s as you, but I do like um, to define my eyes. Yeah. And I like it quick as well. I'm a big fan of a pencil for eyeshadow. Remember at school I used to wear silver... Straight up silver eyeshadow. What, all I just over? used to go like that and go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's really classy. <laughs> and the same colour, just look up for me, underneath, but really soft. So I'm going to use actually a Q-tip for this. Oh, a cotton bud. I'm not supposed to say Q-tip. I've been. It's been pointed out to me that I should say cotton, cotton bud. bud. The generic term. These transatlantic times, it's hard to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> I do liquid. Eyeliner, yeah, crucial for this look. I'd it's say. the number one pen. The problem is that Ico let me have free reign with naming the products, and so unfortunately they've all got really good pun names. I like them. I, I like the do. Too. And then it says that's where I draw the line on it. Nice. No? Yeah. You basically know how to use this yourself, so I can rest at this point. Okay, <laughs> get out of it. Um, no, I'm really controlling about my eyeliner because it's one of the only things that I can do actually in life, so I like to protect that. <laughs> um, but if I'm getting my makeup done, I'll give a makeup artist a guideline. Of and how then, you like it exactly. Yeah, because mm. I feel like once you know your eye, yeah, it's quite good. And I, I literally do kind of try and go along a 45 degree thing. Yeah. I think that's the best sweep. I think that is the best Anyway, tip. we'll see. I put my money where my mouth is right now. I like a girl that knows her own face. So just start at the outer corner, really close to those lashes, and then you sweep up. Mm. Sometimes it messes up. No, not this time. I think that looks pretty good. Depends how thick you want it, but... It looks good, that little bit thicker. I like that. And then maybe it's about a cotton bud vibe. And just clean up. That looks good. Very nice. Such pressure, guys. So what are your tips for matching up then? Do you have any little techniques? I need to poke my hair out then. Uh, just being able to see if something's symmetrical. Would be just keep tip. looking back in the mirror. It's so hard with eyeliner because it is literally just practice, I think. Mm, definitely. Oh dear. So now we need lashings of mascara, mm -hmm. black, with the nice thick brush and getting right down to those roots, massaging. My, really my eyelashes are like up. iron filings as well, so I need as much as you've got. And just look up for me, and um, plenty of mascara underneath. Twiggy. Yeah, I think that's kind of what makes it look 60s, having that abundance of mascara on those bottom lashes. So for brows, I'm going to use the brow liquid mm -hmm. liner, which is good for adding hairs, and because you said you want to make them thicker. I just want a stronger brow. I feel like that's Fair very cool right now. It is. It's very, it's good very face hot right now. Out. I'm going to just add a few strokes up here just to thicken. It's often better to sort of start 
thickening them from above, just filling in those little gaps. And then underneath where you've got, they're starting to grow through. I think yeah. you should definitely leave those, by the way. My dad Don't has, be tempted to pluck. My dad has literally caterpillar brows, so I feel confident it's going to go. You're going to do it. I'm going to do Frida Kahlo by 2015. Watch this face. Yeah. I'm just going to finish them off with some brow gel. Just to hold them in place. So when the wind blows, they're not floating through the air. <laughs> that would be interesting. Mm. I'd like to see that. That's hot. For your cheeks, I was thinking of using this Stay Blushed gel. Lovely. Which is nice and natural, and it's a really peachy, kind of peachy colour. Yeah, I hate um, powders. Mm. I just I feel like... I like creams and gels Yeah, first. I like a kind of... Fresh finish. Dewy vibe. Yeah. And this is just a really nice sheer colour. And again, keeping in with your philosophy of easy, quick blendable I think that looks really lovely and you can still see your glowy skin through that for lips let's do a nude perfect nice and 60s yeah. really peachy natural this is a quite a moisturizing one so it's quite sheer as well I am going straight from the bullet which is very uncool for a makeup artist to do but I'm going to give you this because I think you should wear this thank you yeah, I'm low on lipstick. And we'll just pat that in. I think that's kind of you done, really, isn't it? Yeah. Is that that's the look? it. My dream that's makeup. You. The yeah. end. That's it. Great. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. And um, well, I hope you can imagine me trotting off into the sunset right now. Wicker basket. Gonna go and meet a French man. <laughs> Rien qu'un bout de pain Pour accompagner Mon fromage préféré Un tel arôme Quand il est bien fait Ça ne séduit que le goût